Hello, everybody. My name is Alan Lian. I'm the executive director of the Nickel Independent Film Festival. Welcome to the screening of the 48 hour horror film challenge uh, for 2020. We are very excited. We have a record breaking number of films this year, 27. Uh, and we're, uh, me, me and my friend here are very excited to be presenting this, uh, this screening tonight, uh, to you. Uh, we wish it could be in person because it would be ridiculous, but, uh, you know. Um, so, uh, without further ado, enjoy the show. The show looks good though. Thank you. Uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> it's not going to work out here. There's no towers anywhere nearby. Yeah, you're not going to get anything. <laughs> you're right, I'm not. <laughs> Alright, listen. Uh, what are you doing out here? What, what, what do you want me to help you find? The main goal? Yeah. Um, main goal would be blackberries. To be honest, I was never a huge fan of it. But we went out to this restaurant in Toronto for my folks birthday and they brought out bunch of like, blackberry cobbler for the table. And, uh, I didn't want to be rude, so I tried some. Next thing you know, I'm eating it hand over hand. Um, the chef was an old friend, so I went back and said, like, hey man, like, what is your secret? What are we doing to this? And he said that he only uses Newfoundland blackberries. And I, I mean, I've been living here now for a while, you know, and I still haven't found any to get into the restaurant, so. Well, you're in luck. Jimmy here knows all the best spots. Mind you, we call blackberries pookaberries around the bay. What's a puka? <laughs> you heard of the puka? No. Oh my god, you're gonna love this. I mean, be in a comfortable way. So, once upon a time, this island was overcome with puka. There were these little half men, half goat, sheep shifty little creatures. 
when the English first settled here, they had this relationship worked out with the puka, right? So they would leave offerings of fish, of rabbit, and the puka in return would spit on all the blackberry bushes in the region. That's why we call them puka berries out around the bay. So what happened to them? You said they used to live here. Well, when the English really started to settle down, the puka were driven further and further into the woods. And as the relationship between the two groups soured, so did all the blackberries. All the patches all around the island began to rot. The berries were filled with worms, and it was said that if you ate one, well, you shit yourself. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> or worse, when the settlers first started cutting down the forest, the puka didn't take too kindly to that. And if they catch you disrespecting their land, they start to hunt you. They start to stalk you. And it starts really slow. You'll you'll hear maybe a branch crack in the distance. Or maybe it'll make a sound, kind of like. And it gets closer and closer. Look, the only thing you can do with a pissed off puka is to run straight into a body of water. There are entire historical accounts of complete villages of settlers freezing themselves to death in an ice cold lake. And nobody knows why they did it, but I do. It's because the puka was on the shoreline watching them and they'd rather take a long, slow, painful death in the water than to face it. The puka is just a fable, right? A child's bedtime story, an old wives tale. It's an excerpt from a dusty book of Newfoundland folklore. But do you know what the best thing to do with books like that is? You leave them shut. You don't open it. Because if you do, if you start poking your nose into places it doesn't belong, well, you might just get what you're looking for. But you'll get something else too. Remember what I said? You piss off a puka and it has you in its sights. It doesn't ever stop hunting. Are you there? Oh my god, Eric! I'm here, Luke. I'm here. Damn it, I can't get the flashlight on my phone to work. There. What the? Where are we? I don't know. The last thing I remember, I turned the knob on the- I told you not to open that creepy door. I said don't open it, but you- Don't open it? It was a creepy door in my basement that wasn't there yesterday. You seriously expect me to just do nothing? What did you think was gonna happen? It would lace her room full of kitten? You never open a creepy door, man. Yeah, well, I did, and we're here. Where are we? Where's the door? Oh my god, there's no door. We're stuck in a creepy dark room and now there's nobody out. My phone is about to die. I was on 69% 10 minutes ago. What the- Let me check mine. Mine's almost dead too. I've got no service. What is this place? It's so cold. Ooh. Um, did you hear something? Um, the sound of us being frightened to death. The sound of us dying a slow death in this creepy dungeon. Stop it. No, I heard something. Ugh, what was that? Did you feel that? Feel what? That on your foot, did you? No, 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 no! Eric, 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 where are you? Oh my God, what just happened? Come on, phone, just one bar, please. Come on, work, come. 
Darn if your face is false Jump on your broom like a witch Go and toss all your gloom in the ditch Go out on the street for a trick or a treat You're a sin to strike it rich Halloween, Halloween All other holidays fall between The night of all hallows So light up the tallow Right, Halloween. I'm getting out of here. John! Doorbells, it's Halloween. While you build a fire, someone lets the air out of your tire. Owls and bats, howls from cats, may scare the buttons right off your spats. Don't be afraid of a ghost, for the ghost may be merely your host. Go out on the street for a trick or a Grin and 
start right in to whistle loud and long. Just hum a merry tune. Just do your best and take the rest and sing yourself a song. When there's too much to do, don't let it bother. Take a photo of the apple and the watch, then pass it on.
Time to check Facebook again. Scrolling, scrolling, forever scrolling. No, no. Have some less idle mindlessness, some restraint. Don't open it. I'm gonna open it. Doom scrolling Twitter coming up next. Why do I do this to myself? Remember parties, remember going out, remember the way things used to be. Now it's as if time has fucking stopped. The lost hour of damned eternity and uncertainty. Frozen, stopped, ended in purgatory. can't leave. I'm trapped here. Nowhere is safe and I can't sleep. I'm gonna die in here. I'm trapped in here. I'm gonna die in here. I'm trapped in here. I'm gonna die in here. Oh, man, uh, how'd you handle the quarantine anyway? What'd you do? Man, it was kind of bull. I don't agree with that stuff, but I watched a lot of Netflix. Uh, that's not that great, but uh, what did you watch? Cuties. Is that all you watch? Multiple times. Why? I like female directors. Me too. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna get some beers. Do you guys want one? Yeah, I'll take one. I'll take yeah. another. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hip hip! Hooray! Do you think we should be wearing masks? We should probably be wearing masks, right? I'll get right on that. Is there anything else you want while oh, I'm up? Relax. Like chips We're or my freedom? Consider the you know who else has guidelines? North Korea. And you can't have McDonald's twice a day there now, can't you? Hell no. I don't... <coughs> 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 like I'm the only one here that cares. Hello? Hello? 
is doctor. I'm calling about your friend. I'm afraid his condition is grave. We thought it might be the new strain of corona, but it's actually worse. What do you mean, doctor? Mike, he doesn't have the coronavirus. He has the QAnon virus. Alan, Alan, how are you, how are you doing? What are you saying, Alan? What are you saying? Jen! As Hillary's Jeffrey Epstein. What is it, Alan? Closer. What? 9-11 runs an inside job. So do you guys think it's true about Alan? What? Well, I know he lied to us. What? Yeah, I was helping him earlier, and this fell out of his jeans pocket. His plane ticket. I, got, I, I think you got it last night, guys. Like, I went in his room and looked at him. His face is different. His eyes are different. He looks different. He kept saying weird things. Like, Pizzagate is real and Flat Earthers matter. I don't think it's Alan anymore. Hello? Who do you pick for a presidential candidate? None of your business. Don't call me again. Hello? Who you voting for? None of your business, okay? Don't hey, call don't hang up on me, you. We're going to talk here now. Don't you know Ben Shapiro cannot be defeated in conversation? What? Got you figured out. No, you don't. Yeah. We're Obama. Obama. No. Prosperity and peace. No, oh. the liberalism hurts. No. You'll never infect me. I already have. <laughs>
funny? Um, I should leave. Oh, really? You should say. You sure? Yeah, I have to get up early in the morning, so. That's too bad. <laughs> yeah. Terrible. Yeah, so see you guys tomorrow? See ya. I like your necklace. Where'd you get it? Oh, I don't know. Huh. It's cute. Thanks. So, interesting costume choice. But you told me to wear Thank God. What? I cannot stand that. I honestly thought he'd never leave. What? Wait, do you remember inviting me to come with us? Honestly? No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he just invited himself. Yeah, I, he, he's so weird. He's always like following me around and stuff. That was rude. Seriously. You make fun of him again? I'll kill you. I'm kidding. Washroom, real quick. I'll be right back.
I'm the killer, and I'm here to kill you. Hello? I'm the killer. I'm sorry. Did you say something? I'm the killer, and I'm here to kill you. That doesn't sound right. When did we get a serial killer? Check social media, dummy. Alan Doyle is sexiest man alive again, yeah? Sprung Greenhouse, good prices on cucumbers, and Harvey's coupons. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, refresh your feed, moron. It's been on news all week. Hey. Yeah, some crazy guys chopping people up with a very small axe. I guess I'd better run away then. Please don't. I've been running around all week, and it's getting to be a bit of a slog. Hey, is that a MacBook Pro? Ah, don't open it! My little pony. seductively lit door here. killer and I'm here to kill you hello I'm the killer and I'm here to kill you can we just put him in the freezer
house owner of this house until one night a cat burglar like you broke in. I reached for the phone to call the police, but he heard me. So he barged in here. I tried to fight him off. from him, but the gun pointed at my chest and he fired. My spirit has been trapped here ever since. What's wrong? You don't believe in ghosts? Well, how about now? No. Now, leave this place, and I suggest you think long and hard about what I just did. Are you continue your thieving ways elsewhere, or turn yourself into a reductive member of society? this month alone you can feel stomach sick. Come on Gay, it's just some dumb slasher. I can hold your hand if you're really scared. Just because CJ went missing last week doesn't mean I'm ready to move on yet. Oh come on, tell that to like the entire junior lacrosse team. Don't worry about it anyway, he was a grade A jerk. He didn't deserve you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, it's all right. If you get scared, you can always just do what I do. I just look at Jamie Lynn's boobs the whole time. <laughs> hey, this is really cool. Where'd you get it? Put that down, dumbass. Need that for next week. Okay. Do I put my lipstick back on? How original. What was that? Ah! <laughs> Are you all right? I heard. 
heard you guys screaming. I was out practicing lacrosse with Jackson. I, I don't know. I found I just I found Jace upstairs in the bathroom. I I think she's dead and maybe there's someone in the house. I don't know. I guess I'll get something to defend ourselves with. It's not like we're gonna need it though. That edgy hoe probably got broken up with and couldn't handle it. Don't be an asshole. My best friend just died. Jeez, I'm sorry, okay? I mean, edgy hoe. Oh, oh, thank God you're here. I thought I was gonna have to pull the shovel out on him myself. I can't believe another one fell for it. They're so dumb. I know, like, at least you're so good at fake crying, otherwise, you wouldn't be able to do it half as well as we usually do. Whew, this is rough. Oh, Jesus! Oh, I know it's just a prop, but you don't need to go so hard. Well, sorry. Jeez, you're so picky. Shut up! Not again. Hmm, tastes like lacrosse. Ew, lacrosse. Anyways, do you want to go watch a horror movie? Oh, um, I think I saw Missouri Hatchet Incident 2 on there. I love that one. That's like the best sequel. Alright, cool. I guess we'll watch that then. Oh, this place looks creepy. creepy. Yeah, it does, it does. Oh, man. It's cool. This is so cool. Yeah. Oh, man. Turn my flashlight on. Up. Don't open it. Is that you? Has to be. <laughs> Don't know who else has a yellow rain jacket with. What? That's that's, that's weird. <laughs> no, this is your first time here, right? It is. That's really weird. I don't trust that. That's. It could be. A, it's probably just a prank. Yeah. Hey Ben, check this out. I don't like it either. It's probably a joke. Probably. Oh my god! No! No! What the hell is that? Oh. 
What was that? What was that? Um, okay. Um, I don't like this. Think we're safe? I don't think so. Ah! Ah! Help! Help! Oh, ah! I'm sorry! Dad, what's COVID? You don't know what the COVID is. COVID-19 is caused by a new strain of the coronavirus. CO stands for corona, VI for virus, and D for disease. Symptoms may include fever. She's 12, boy, not 50. Let me tell it. The year was 2020. And the world was gone cracked. People so sick, we never thought we'd make it out alive. We started with a mall cough, <laughs> Tom and head cold. <laughs> but then, bang! Woo! Jesus. Couldn't run, yeah? Body grains and runs. People couldn't eat. They couldn't breathe. It spread like wildfire. People were dying. It was like the zombie apocalypse. Okay, it was not like the zombie apocalypse. It was a horrible disease, but they created a vaccine, and we're all okay now. What are we? What do you mean by that? What the freak is that? Oh, it's Lex. Probably just Michelle at the front door. Fashionably late again. Wait! That's not Michelle. Come and see this. You know what that is? Delivery from the Colby. Steve! Come on, let's go check it out. Guys, don't open it. Let's just go back inside. Uh, Michelle! Oh my god, boy, she's freaking dead! Pneumonia, migraine, the runs, the wind. <laughs> Pneumonia, migraines, the runs. People were dying. It was like the zombie apocalypse. It was like the zombie apocalypse. People were dying. It was like the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> COVID is a highly infectious infection.
a hell of a game, and you missed it, man. You missed it all. You're telling me. Jesus, kid, relax. How much are you in for? 15k. Jonah's friend, right? Oh yeah, 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 I'm John. I'm Nickel. This is Fish, and cool. that's Lucky. <laughs> that Jonah sure liked giving his money away. <laughs> Jonah was a fucking mark. It's <laughs> a lot of talk from someone named Fish. What did you just say? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! He's needling you! Come on! Shut this! Shuffle up, then talk. Nice hand. The ring, I mean. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, just got married. Still trying to get used to wearing it. It was a good hand, kid. Can, can, can I take break here? Hurry back. What's wrong? Don't trust us? No, no, I'll be right back. Never let me get in another one of these games. I'm up by a lot. Angela's gonna, she's gonna kill me. No honeymoon. Have you ever heard of a player named Lucky? He's, he's no cowboy. <laughs> he's, he's something else. I, I don't, I don't get it. Okay. Not getting cold feet, I hope. <laughs> no, 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 man. I, uh, just call check in with wife, you know? All right, ready for another round? Don't! Open it. You just stay sharp to play against me. Damn it! You don't lose, do you? I'm out of here. All right, yeah, no, sorry, man. I'm just gonna get out of here now and listen. This don't you think you have my number tonight? Don't you think you ought to test that? You know, give your wife the life she deserves? What are you getting at? One million dollars. <laughs> you can. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. I can cover it. One million dollars for one hand. What do you say?
and it was surprisingly cheap. Maybe she stole it from a dead person. Maybe it's haunted. Yeah. Maybe it's haunted. Cherry Thompson, and this is my the introduction to my video essay on my favorite poem, Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven. I think the theme of this essay is what? Oh shoot. I I don't know what's going on. I'm I'm really scared. I thought I I thought I saw something, but a, a message? No, 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 no. Just just don't open it, Cherry. Just don't. So, I suppose I should give some sort of conclusion to this. Alright, well, in conclusion to what I think the theme for Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven is, I honestly still don't think I quite understand the meaning of this poem. But I do think I've learned something tonight. Hi my glitter babies, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I have a really special video for you today. I think you're really gonna like it. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe.
for today's long-awaited video. I'm finally going to show you guys how to glitter paint your tongue. Finally, I know you've been waiting for so long for this. Anyway, I finally got the box in the mail right here. I actually had to get it from the tag rack, but that's totally fine. I'm just going to go right ahead. So anyway, I've been waiting so long to do this. Here we go. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Don't open it. Meow. So I know you guys have been waiting so long for this tutorial on how to paint your tongue with glitter, but honestly, it's not even really that hard. Like, all you have to do is, seriously, who would text me? Like, everyone knows I'm doing this video right now. Can you please edit this out? Thanks. Anyway, all you have to do is open the container this is the hard part and then you just <coughs> that's all you do <coughs> oh god oh god <coughs> Hey Parker, I'm gonna go open leaf shoot. No, don't open it yet. I'm gonna see you do it to make sure you're not the imposter. Good games, man. I'm gonna go to bed. I got work in the morning though. Alright, night dude. Have a good sleep. Okay, peace.
In a world where everything is recorded and everything is online, mysteries are everywhere. Coming in 2025, a brand new series unlike any other that will unearth the mysteries of the net. Unknown mysteries can they be solved? The Haunted Files. Check your footage. <laughs> What is that? Is it moving? Check your email. What is this file? Don't open it! It looks glitched. Or do they simply allow us to see what has always been there? Object detected 10 feet away. Continue forward. Continue forward. Yeah, yeah. Mean what's it? Seal. In right no minute. Yeah, yeah. Mean what's it? Seal. In right no minute. Yeah, yeah. Mean what's it? Seal. In right no minute. Yeah, yeah. Check your favorite online video site. Follow the tags. Unknown mysteries, can they be solved? The Haunted Files. I'm here for my phone. Go on. Open it. <laughs> Gabs, mm -hmm. it is so good to see you. I got all dressed up and the boys didn't even notice. <laughs> Ugh. You look good though, you don't even have to try. Anyway, welcome. I hope you have a good time. Oh. Open it. It's a bit different since the last time you saw it. We changed the carpet, painted the walls. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was actually going to like the color, but I'm kind of into it now. I feel comfortable here, you know? Make yourself comfortable. Whoa! Watch out! Hey, buddy! Welcome! I'm so glad you made it. Allison said that you were going to make an appearance, but I didn't know. You know what? Uh, sorry. I'm Zach. I know we met before, but I feel like I already know you. Anyways. Take a thought.
touched her. What? I miss you. I didn't want to be here, but I had to talk to you. Had to talk to me about what? Stop it. I don't want to do it anymore. We're all here now. Let's just have a good time. No, I'm not supposed to be here. Well, we invited you. My phone. You know what my favorite thing is about parties? Being together. Doesn't it feel right? I don't think I'm who you're thinking of. I don't know any of you. I don't know you. Don't. Open it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I I didn't mean to kill anymore. We thought we should we needed to apologize for what happened. We didn't mean to really, baby. I hope you're not mad. I'm sorry.
I'm at 296 La Merchant Road. Don't go to the grace. This ain't going so well. I'm headed for the school of Holy Cross. <laughs> Don't go to the school. <laughs> Don't open it. It's not fucking safe. Man, nowhere is fucking safe. I don't want to die. I don't want to fucking die. I don't want to fucking die out here, man. Fuck. I'm sorry. today if you don't mind can you swing by my house and let my dog out i totally forgot i'm on my way to work uh yeah i'll be around perfect oh and by the way mm -hmm. i got this email this morning and i had to start my morning by watching this completely disgusting video so if you got that email too just don't open it yeah i can let the dog out okay bye another spicy Ichiban ramen challenge. I'm so excited to get back to you guys on this one for today. And today I got a very special one because we're eating four bowls of the spicy Ichiban ramen. Mm, it looks so good. Oh. But before before I get into this, guys, I uh, we're, we're doing a we're doing a very exciting special episode today. Uh, as you can see, we have no forks, no chopsticks, no spoons, no nothing. So this is going to be the spicy ichiban, no culinary challenge. I just have to use my bare hands. Okay, guys, I think it's time to get right into the video.
he's only gonna hurt you again. Maybe it'll be different. Oh, come on. Yeah, I think you're right. Thanks, though, Steven. No problem. Hey. Oh my god! What about that cute male man? He's flirting with you. He's not flirty, he's working. He has to be nice to people. Are you sure? Yes. And we have this conversation about boundaries. Stay in your lane. My bad.